Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go back into the deep dark jungle and go over two, is this four? Yeah, it's, four. it's not it's sort of jungle. Four painted pipe works. Let's Van go it up, baby. It's uh, based off the night scale paint. I mean, uh, night sky painting by Van Gogh. Yep. Gotta love stylistic levels. Oh no 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 no! Don't fall in. Not a hard level. This is not the level to die in because it's too beautiful. But I died anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, I gotta watch the, the pipes a little bit more, rather than rushing on ahead. Alright, painted pipe works. Let's go. Oh, by the way, there's a secret level in this stage, so be on the lookout for that. Given that this is a very pipe-based level, you probably have an idea as to where the secret exit will be. <laughs> Whoop. There are you. Here's a rotating pipe. Oh, 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 no, 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 not gonna forget that. Seen that out of the corner of my eye at the edge of the screen. Yeah. Oh. Can I, like, yes, I can. That's helpful. Very helpful. Can I go up here? No, I can't. Just thought I would look for the secret exit as I go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Gonna try and take my hat? It's not gonna happen. No, it's not. Ha ha ha. Whoa, that coin's pretty treacherous. <laughs> um. Oh, that's not safe. That's not safe at all. <laughs> There's the last. Oh, that's where the secret exit is. That red pipe up there, right at the end. Whew. That is a really evil-looking Bowser in the background, but it looks really cool with its painterly effect. All right, that was the regular exit, obviously. As you can tell, this leads in a complete circle. This, I think, is a reference to uh, the Forest of Illusion in Super Mario World, in a way. In that, exits don't necessarily lead you forward. They just lead you in circles. So they they kind of force you to find the secret exits. In fact, uh, that that's also an indication as to, oops, <laughs> as to um, what you're expecting in the next level, which is uh, Soda Jungle Dash 5 over there, because it also has a misleading normal exit and a uh, forward movement secret exit. So we're gonna have a lot more secret exits to come. Oh, oh. I very much appreciate if I could get a power up out of that. There we go. Oh, that's, that might be very helpful for the Piranha Plant invasion. Oh! Don't like sneaky, sneaky attacks. See, like this. Normally, I'd have to time myself with the Piranha Plant as well as the um, swinging pipes, but nope, because I can kill it off like that. I can just go right through them. Is this safe? Yes. I'm trying to stay on the outside of the arc. Just gotta watch where the Piranha Plant is in order to judge that. Um. Uh, can I like... Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, I can! It really has a lot of swing to it. That's that's why I figured I'd be able to get a grip on that. Here's a painting Luigi there. And the secret exits in a really beautiful sky area. Well, it's not a sky area, but you can see the sky in the background. Spectacular! And now, this leads over to the graveyard. Well, soon it will. I'm gonna have to pass through the graveyard in order to uh, get to that spot. Anyway, Stone Jungle-5, Deep Sea so Stone Eyes. There is, as I said once again, two secret exits, and... Hold on a sec. Thought there was... Yeah, I thought you or something around here. Revealed a hidden passageway. Ha 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 ha. Ho 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 ho. And this leads to the secret exit. <laughs> yeah, it's really that early in the level where the secret exit is in this one. The uh, coins, as well as the normal exit, are all down the same path, like the, the regular path through the level. The secret exit is just absolutely trivial to get to because of that. But you have to be observant and just wait, uh, wait around to see where, um, see if something's going to move on those stone eye statues. 
Alright. How will I fare in this level? Who knows? So we're going slow, we're going slow. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you can't get through there when it's going fast like that. It's, it's just way too fast to pass by. And that <laughs> fish. I mean, a, a fish bones killed itself there. Off screen. I don't think you're affected by fire, are you? No, you're not. How about ice? You're probably affected by ice. Oh, well, I guess we'll never know. No, I'm actually pretty sure it is affected by ice. In all honesty. Alright. Where is... I thought there was a coin that I had to trigger by going to... By, by, by touching a certain spot. Mm. Mm. By the way, in case you didn't realize, their eyes follow you. It's a nice added touch. Hey, oh, there's this coin. Wait a second. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Okay, that was the second, that means the third must be down here. Come on, stop grabbing onto the stone eye statues with your boots, Luigi. Hmm, maybe it's not there, maybe it's up ahead? I don't remember it being further up ahead, though. Could be wrong, though, hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 that was the pathway back here through another route. Oh, that must mean I missed a pipe through a hole or something. Oh, I bet it was where that statue moved. Uh, you know that where are the it was guarding the second coin where I could have almost got where I almost got squished there. I bet that was where it was. Now that I recall, so I'll see you over there. Ah, they are affected by ice, just as I figured. All right, let's trigger this thing to move. Come on, move. And do I absolutely have to try and get the coin? This <laughs> is. I just don't want to lose my position here. Fine, I'll try it. Oh! oh well, that worked out anyway. Alright, now let's try going up here. Yep, there's the pipe. Ah! If only I remember that on my first run. I could have died just like this Luigi. Ah! This should shoot me into the coin, right? Yeah, so I thought. Ah, that's fine. It all worked out. That was that was a fun level. I don't mind playing fun levels over and over. Yee. As a matter of fact, technically, all of my uh, runs in this walkthrough are at least a second playthrough through a level. Because, you know, I've beat this game 100% before. Alright. Done. Now, once you go to this spot, watch where the boos go in the ground. You, it's always possible to dodge where they are. Uh, like, if I just wanted to go over to the end, I would just follow this path and then go around and then we're done. But, because I don't want to do that, I want to actually battle all the boos. I'm going to go through them all, if you don't mind. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Uh oh, oh. jeez. <laughs> that was terrible timing on my part. Everyone together. That was just the worst possible idea I could have possibly done. I said possibly twice there. And they're going to shuffle their positions. So I really don't know which order... I mean, which boo is which. Oh, maybe I should have used a power-up ahead of time. Because these can be a little treacherous. Oh, well. Alright, everyone together. Everyone together. It's pretty easy to corral boos uh, via... By just letting them follow you. Because, you know, if they all, all go to a central location, then you can treat them as one, and you don't, you don't have any issue uh, dodging a whole load of them. Alright, there's one done. Woo. Try that sometime. Oh, I ran out, of, ran out of room. But yeah, try that sometime if you are uh, uh, encountering a bunch of boos. Just try and corral them into one area by just standing in one spot, jumping over them, standing in one spot jumping over them, etc, etc, until they're all in one spot. And you'll, you'll be able to understand more as to how the boos work. Alright, boo number two! I'm guessing, I don't know. <laughs> I need the angel block. Oh, oh, missed it. Give me star. Give me power. Everyone together, there we go. Good boys. And boop. And that's the power of Corelling Booze. 
You can save a lot of time doing that in levels like this as well. Because you can get them out of uh, normally awkward spots. If you tried to keep them into in one spot, you would just be able to move them out of there naturally. Because you can move them towards you rather than um, them just sitting there while you have to go to them. Alright, it's this one again. Arr! Everyone together? Yes! Yeah, there we go, that works. All I have to do is... There we go! Woo! And that takes care of them all. I should probably save that mini mushroom just like I saved the other one. Just to have another one on reserve. I'm getting a lot of P acorns. I mean, they're, they're probably the uh, best item in the game, though, so it's, it's good that I have them, but I'm, I'm saving up every single <laughs> P acorn that I've got there. I should probably start using them, even though that they're, they're get pretty game-breaking. I still haven't showed um, what they're like in this walkthrough yet, so I'll probably have to do that eventually. Alright, do not grab Bowser. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. There we go. And I don't know which one had the one that I wanted. I'm just going to take guesses at this point. Not bad. I was actually hoping for uh, extra lives because my uh, inventory is full, but... Mm, I'll take it. Mm, actually. Mm, maybe I have too many flight powers. Mm, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll drop the flower. Okie dokie. And now we are leaving the deep dark forest already. Yeah, that was pretty quick. To go to these levels right here. Ah, uh, that's six. This is, this is seven, right? Yeah, because the last one I be uh, beat in there was five. So let's do this level and then, then end off the part, I suppose. Sumo Bro Bridge. I think you know exactly what enemies we'll be facing here. Yep, those guys. Oh, oh. Beware of their lightning blasts, I suppose you could call them. In the, in the original Super Mario World, the lightning that flew down from wherever they stomped didn't hurt you. It was the, um... It was the actual blast of... Whoops! It was the actual blast of fire that came from it! Oh, poopers! I did a very bad job getting in that pipe. <laughs> I wonder if this should be one of the... You know, you know what, I will use one of these. It's kind of going to break the level. But I, I just want to show this at least once during the walkthrough. You basically have unlimited flight power! Yeah! And this allows you to go up and over anything you want. <laughs> well, okay, maybe not everything, because there are sometimes pipes and whatnot that get in your way. Oops! To the point that you can't do that, and well, I guess I can't break the level anymore. <laughs> but that's fine. I just wanted to show that off at least once. Gotta get in there! Yes! Always take advantage of your little floaty 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 spin when you can. <laughs> I wasn't sure how, how well I'd be able to do that one, because I, I was basically having to jump into the coin as it was coming along and land on the platform, but the issue with that is... Oh, I reached 99 lives! Well, this is the part that I reached 99 lives. And there's Luigi in, uh, uh, in the roots down there. I should see roots, tree bark, whatever hidden in there. Alright. So yes, I have finally reached that non-elusive number <laughs> that we all knew I would hit eventually. Oh, no, 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 not gonna let that happen at this point. Oh, no siree. Alright. Two more levels left in the soda jungle. I even beat the... I mean, I even uh, took on the Naba chase and everything. So, once I beat these two, the world will be done. And with that, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.